Hello, welcome to NetVN channel. I would like to introduce to you a tool to help you get the information of other computers over the network. The tool I recommend to you is NetCrunch. This is a free tool and you can download it from the homepage of adremsoft.com. This tool is small in size. After downloading, install it like any other software. Once the installation is complete you can launch it and use it to get the information of other computers on your network. By default you can look up the information of your local computer. But in this example I want to get the information of another computer in my network. So I will connect to another computer. Target computer has IP address 192.168.110. You are required to enter the username and password of the target computer to connect to it. First I want to know what operating system the target computer runs. Thus, the target computer runs Windows 11 Pro operating system. Target computer has IP address 192.168.110. And this computer has IP address 192.168.116. You can use the default settings of the NetCrunch tool to get information about the target computer. But I want to customize the settings to get the information I want. So I create new queries to get the information I need. I have prepared some queries to customize the selections. First of all I create a new query to get information about the processor. I want to know the name of the processor, how many cores it has and what is its current load. And this is the name of the target computer's processor, current load is 22%, NIAF processor has 4 cores. Next I create a new query to get information about the target computer's internal memory. I want to know what size of internal memory the target computer has. And here is the information about the target computer's internal memory. It is installed with two sticks of RAM, one is 4 gigabytes in size, the other is 8 gigabytes in size. So the target computer's internal memory size is 12 gigabytes. Next I create a new query to know the partitions of the target computer. This query tells me the target computer has two partitions. One partition to install Windows operating system, the other is named data. I also want to know how many physical hard drives are installed on the target computer and what is the size of each hard drive. So I create a new query as follows. This new query tells me the target computer has two physical hard drives. One 256 gigabyte solid state drive and one 1 terabyte media hard drive. Next I create a new query to know the network settings on the target computer. It helps me to know IP address, gateway, MAC address. Thus, the target computer is set to the IP address of 192.168.110 and much more information. Also I would love to know the target computer's network traffic. For Windows Server network traffic is very important because it helps me know if there is network congestion. I create a new query about network traffic as above. It helps me to know the current bandwidth of the target computer and know the current network traffic. As the result I got, everything is fine. So with the customizations I got the networking tool I wanted. I can get information such as hardware, network traffic and load of the target computer remotely. How about for a domain computer, can you get the information? The answer is yes, you just need to do the following. You connect to the target computer by name or IP address. If your network has a DNS server you can connect to the target computer by name. You are then asked to update your domain username and password. That way you can get information of computers in the domain. As you have seen with this tool you can get the information of the remote computer. 
In case you can't get the information of the target computer, then you set the following on the target computer. You need to make sure the target computer is set up with a password, if not, create a new one. Next, you add the account used to connect to the two groups distributed COM users and to performance monitor users. Then you set up WMI control as follows. Here you add the specified account with permissions to what interests you. I recommend you set a CIMV2. With it you have most of the information you need. You set the execute methods, enable account, and remote enable permissions for that account. Next you open the run window and enter the command as above. Here you set up COM security as follows. In section launch and activation permissions click edit limits. You add your account and allow these permissions, local launch, remote launch and remote activation. Firewall will prevent other computers from illegally accessing this computer. So you set to allow WMI to go through the firewall. One more thing I recommend you to set up a static app address for the target computer if there is no DNS server in your network. I have already covered how to help you get information about another computer over the network. Good luck, don't forget to like and subscribe.